Hi, the following video is going to show you how to create a quiz or knowledge check using Adobe Captivate. All right, very easy to do. A few different ways to do it, too. As with all Adobe software, there are several ways to create quizzes and knowledge checks and things like that. The easy way, click slides, question slide or knowledge check slide. What's the difference? A knowledge check is basically just a... You know, if I was doing like a case study and I wanted to make sure that my learners were following along, I might have a few questions afterwards. Um, so I would use a knowledge check just to kind of pinpoint and make sure they're staying with me and they know what that we're talking about. But this isn't a graded score. Now the quiz, a question slide is an actual graded, hey, I have a quiz at the end that you have to pass and, you know, get to a certain amount before we can, you know, approve that you know how to use whatever we're teaching about. So we have this question slide. So I'm gonna just click question slide. We can choose what kind of question we want. You can see we can select graded or survey. I'm just gonna choose multiple choice. There, I'm just gonna have one question and I'm gonna say graded. It's not a survey, it's not a pretest. I'm just gonna keep it at that. I'm gonna click okay. When I, when I make it, notice that two slides appeared on my screen. A multiple choice slide where I can configure my question and a quiz results. I'm going to go ahead and just make another question as well, question slide, and this time I'll just say true, false. Click OK just so you can see both of these. Now, to actually edit the multiple choice, you just simply, it's just like editing anything else. I can double click and write whatever I want here. I can type in my question. Um, since I'm on the properties, so I, I can actually, if I go to my properties for my slide, I can actually look at the timing and things like that. Um, but I'm gonna to go to quiz, and now I can see I can change. So you can see I have two answers here. I can make this four answers if I would like. I can shuffle the answers. I can have multiple answers if I would like to. Oh, also notice that the answer is the one that's selected. So if I were to select C, that means C is gonna be the answer to this question. I'm just gonna keep it at A for this quick tutorial here. You can see how many points the question's worth. Is there multiple, you know, partial score if it's multiple answers kind of thing. Um, captions, so we, you know, we, we, this is graded. It does get marked as incomplete. Is there a time limit for the question? What buttons do we want? Do we want a back button? Do we want a skip button? Do we want a clear button? You know, what happens on success of the button? Do I go to the previous slide, next slide? Do I open up a URL? We're just going to go to continue or go to the next slide. Do they have one attempt? Right now it's set to one, or do I want infinite? So, you know, is there a failure message? What happens if they fail? You know, you, and this is where you enter in. You know, right now it's saying you must enter this before you enter the next screen. But I can have like, you know, if I wanted to add some feedback or something like that, I can do that as well. So, what we're going to do is we are going to actually go to our next question. You can see the difference between the true false is really nothing. I go to actions on enter tells me what I want to do. Obviously, it's true, false, so there aren't all of the other options, but the question is, it looks exactly the same. In our quiz results, we can also edit that a little bit, but we're just going to play it. That's it. That's a basic quiz. Now, I'm, I am going to show you something after I play this. All right, so our first slide had nothing. It was just blank, so it's going to play through that. Now we're at our quiz. So, What's the answer to our quiz? A, right? I kept them all A. That's our feedback. I'm going to show you how to edit that in a second. Next one, A, right? But you know what? Let's just put B. Uh, there we go. Oops. Oh, no, I went too far. Okay, let me just go to it really quick so you can see. Okay, so our quiz results. You scored 10 out of 20. I got one out of two questions. I got a 50%. Sorry you failed because it's by default it was set at 80%. So let's take a look at that. Let's go back into Captivate. And let's go to Quiz. And let's go to Quiz Preferences. So Quiz, Quiz Preferences. This is just our basic preferences. You know, when we go to recording preferences, project preferences, this pops up. This is for quiz. So first of all, reporting. Am I going to report my quiz results? So what that means, like if I'm using a learning management system or I have a server or Adobe Connect, I'm going to actually put these results and connect it with the LMS so that when they go into like Blackboard or 
you know, any of them, Canvas or whatever your company is using, you can actually see the results and it says whether they pass or not. Okay, we're not really doing that for this, but that's what you would do. Settings. You know, I can set some default settings for the whole entire quiz. I can change my results message. Congratulations, you passed the quiz. Sorry, you failed. You know, you probably don't want these generic things. So you can, and you can have what you're going to, what it says here. So you can write what you would actually like to allow the user to review the quiz. Do you want to do that? Pass or fail? What is the option? It's by default set to 80%. So you might want to change that if you need to. It might be 100%. And the default labels, you notice how when they scored correct, it was saying correct. Click anywhere or press Y to continue or incorrect. This is where you change those actual, you know, what it's going to happen. So you can change and you can see all your options here for that. You can change your submit button, what it says, your clear button, what it says. Um, so that's it for quizzes. All right. Thank you.